everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa Chase Kaylee here on YouTube. The Scrap and Mommy .com, and of course many album scraps .com. I want to share with you the corsets for the steampunk corset tag swap that we had on uh, mini album scraps. And there are a few of them here with lots of detail, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Alright. And make sure um I have everyone's info here. Okay, this first one is from Geraldine, and she is gonna cards. Oh, hmm. Well, it's little giggling pixie, I believe on YouTube, but I'm going to let you guys read that. Cool. Hmm, see. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up, so. So anyways, this is Geraldine's, and she's got a really cute corset tag shape. And she's embossed it with some diamond plate. She's used a really nice red crackle accented um, gear, some buttons, some Chinese knots, some blue flowers, and then the wings behind there are also um, glittered, and then they're also embossed. It's a really, really neat effect. And then, of course, there's the back with her info, and again, that one is Geraldine's. So thank you so much for participating. And next we have Nancy Snyder, and she is scrappynancy.blogspot.com, and it's Nancy with an I. There you go. And this one's hers. She's got the cute little garters hanging there. I thought that was cute, and she's even put snaps on the end of them. <laughs> she's stamped some wings with some glitter. She's gone with a black and gray and a silver. Um you know, color scheme, some lace, some holographic ribbon there in the center, and then with her info tucked into the um, paper clip there. So really cute. So that one's Nancy. So, so thanks, Nancy. Okay. Next up, we have Valentina, and you guys know her as Yuki Gal, and this one's hers love her choice of paper. Really cute. And she's got this really neat layered bird and gear going on up there. You guys can see that. See how cool that is? I thought that was really neat. And then her info on the back. And again, that one's Valentina's and she's Yuki Gal. So thanks, Val. Alright. Next, we have Heather's, and she's Heather Kropinski, and she's Diddy Mom 2 um, at Gmail. So I gotta tell Heather to put her YouTube on there. And hers, when you get it, the wings are folded back like that. And then you can open it up because the way it's packaged, so really neat. And then if you guys can see in here, this is open and it moves around in there. And there's an acetate little camera, old-fashioned camera that's in there. And then bling lines that. The wings are all um, embossed and have glitter. And then she's got two little charm assemblies that go down there. And the paper is awesome. I'm not sure what paper. It's got clocks and gears and... She always uses the neatest paper for me. And then the back is some Graphic 45 paper. And she's got this um, tool and satin ruffled uh, piece of trim here. The tiniest lace around the bottom, if you guys saw that. And then a little gear sticker. So that one is Heather Kropinski. So thank you, Heather. Really nice job. Let's set that one aside. Alright, next up we have Dara, um, Dara Hinden, 
this one's hers. She did, um, she scored her paper, if you guys can see that, to mimic the, um, like the boning of the corset. She's got some trim up here at the top, and these gears, and, the, and these are all layered, if you guys can see, at different heights. In the back, she's put some trim at the top, so that one's really cute. So thanks, Dara. Alright. Let's see. And next we have Jen Mertens. And this one is hers. She's used some ribbon for the crisscross in there with her flowers. You guys can see that. Um, gear paper, but then she's used some gear in it. You know, the Timeworks gear embossing folder. Some sparkles, so I think she glimmer misted. A little gear with a gem in the center there. You can see there how it wraps around her body form. It's really cute. Again, that one's Jen Martins, so thanks, Jen. It's so cool to see um, the different ideas that you girls have. Next up is Lissa Jean. This one is hers. And she's used some brads and some jute to lace hers up. And then an imagine tag over layered flowers and a, um, a ribbon, you know, a ribbon slide there is a buckle. So that's pretty. And then on the back she's had just says her info. So that one's Lissa Jeans. So thanks, Lissa. Alright. Next we have Arcana. And she's done more of let me get her little tassels out there. More of a, a tag, like a literal um, take on a tag in her corset. So she's got the punched belt chain that goes across, a gear that she's cut out with a brad, some chain that hangs out, and then the back is done up the same. And then if you guys can see, it holds a larger tag and I love that stamp one of my favorites <laughs> so and this may be her info here let me see ah yes here we go Arcane Arcana Joshi and she is craftcave.blogspot.com so that one's hers so thanks Arcana Put that one back together in a second. Alright. Next up, I have Tracy Lord. And she is Mrs. Tracy333. And it's Tracy with an I on YouTube. T-R-A-C-I. And how cute is this one? Love that corset shape. <laughs> Love that. Um... <laughs> The back, she's dry embossed with the clockworks. You know, she's got clocks all through it. You guys can see. And then a gear that she's attached a steampunk ticket to that she has her info on the back of. She's actually put a working spinner on this clock. And not only does she have dry embossing, but then she also has um, the powder, yeah, heat embossing also. So you can see what a nice effect that is she double embossed that and here's the front a graphic 45 stamp with some mini pearls and this tiny little um, resin rose she's put um, eyelets in there to lace up her corset with some seam binding cute little flowers down there at the bottom with a stick pin so super cute and you can find this size corset in our store it's a corset mini if you guys are looking for it. So that one is Tracy's. So thank you, Tracy. And again, she's Mrs. Tracy333 on YouTube. Three threes. Okay. Next up, I have Linda Miller. And oh no, Linda's stick pin just came off. So I'm going to have to kind of guess where it was. I'm thinking through the flower. Oh. Alright. How about... I cannot get 
get it back on. I'm going to have to push it through, but there's her cute little stick pin, and it has the little locket on it. Awesome bead cap. And then here is her corset. Again, she's got some eyelets and laces it up. A lace and feather flower over here in the corner. Some sequin and satin ribbon. Black lace across the bottom. And this paper is flocked, so it actually has a velvet feel to it. Her corset has shoulder straps, which I think is so cute. Some Chinese knot trim across the top. Some dry embossing on the back. The buttons to hold her trim on. And I believe this goes through here. But I am not wanting to mess it up. <laughs> so I am going to have to fix it when we're not live. So that one is Linda Miller's. So thank you, Linda. Let's see, who haven't I done? Uh, here's LaDonna's. This one is hers. She's done some wire to mimic the boning. I think that's cool. And then this gold trim down here with these um, copper and pearl pieces as like a sash. Nice gold buttons down there at the bottom with some um, tulle to mimic a skirt and some glitter underneath. And she's left the back open. So I thought that was really cool. And that one's LaDonna's. Now, this next one is <laughs> unbelievable, guys really really amazing I thought this one was gorgeous this one is Jenna's and Jenna special ordered some tiny little gears from our store so um, those aren't available in our in our store regularly but she had this special made so it's a sample of what you know she can do when you call up and ask or message and ask Here's some more on the front. This is an Inka Dinka Do stamp, I believe. I asked her about it. <laughs> I love it. So if someone sees it in the store, tell me so I can buy it. Love the cutout that she did, kind of for the boobs. <laughs> the chain hanging down. The cute little bows down there for the garters. And then the lace trim the whole way around. Ugh. Love it. And then she's done eyelets the whole way up, laced it all up, more bows for the garters on that side. Thought it was adorable. Just think it is to die for. I think it is so, so pretty. So that one is Jenna's and she put her info, you guys probably saw, on a little memo tag and it was sticking in here in the side. And she's layered up a gear and punched flowers, which I thought was cute. And then her info. And she's Jenna Taylor. You can find Jenna usually in our chat room because she helps moderate our chat. So thanks, Jenna. And this next one is also from one of our admin on the site. And this is something else that got cut from our store. And it was a special order for Kim. This is Kim Brady's. This is a different shape corset that um, we don't usually have, but Kim special ordered it. She's Kim Brady. You can see, let me pull this out here. She's used some lipstick glitter paper as her tag inside. You can see now she's got this all laced up the whole way, but that's not what I find most amazing about this piece. You can see the beads, like the bead ball chain rather, and the gears, another little gear down here, the lace. This is the part that I find amazing. And see these? <laughs> She's got tiny little clock gears on there. Do you guys see this chain? It is not glued down. She actually, let me get it nice and close, she actually fed it through each hole and then connected it to the next jump ring. So each one of these she opened individually and closed it around that hole one at a time. So she did that with jump rings the whole way up on both sides on every tag. I mean that's 
that's just some attention to detail, guys. <laughs> that is just amazing. And the look, you guys can see, the look is amazing. Because it's got that metal for the steampunk. It's got movement. And it's attached. There's no glue holding it on. It looks great. And I love the corset shape. I love the corset that she did. And her little lipstick tag tucks right down inside of there. And her info, which is Kim Brady. And Kim is um, one of my helpers on the site. She's another one of my administrators. So you can find her there. So, everyone, this was the corset tag swap. I um, hope you guys all had fun. You'll be receiving these in the mail anytime now. And uh, check out mini album scraps for the next swap. Right now we have a dress form swap open, and it is ball gowns. So come check it out, everyone. Bye.